So it's a Greek word. It's called extra feet. Okay, not extra feet, extra fit. Okay? Yeah, my, it's, my kids were looking at it and they started chuckling because they thought it was extra feet. So it's extra feet. So it means to nourish. And if you go a little bit deeper into the definition, it literally means to bring along, to nourish along, to carry, to mentor. Almost like, think about it like the dad holding the kid's hand and walking along with him or her, right? That's what we're talking about here. It's not, oh, bring up, all right, well, so I brought you up on stage, that's great, there you go. And you just let them fly on their own. No, you're there to nourish them, to move them along, to push them, to guide them, to make them better, maybe get them to do things that they don't want to do, they think they're afraid, but they're not really afraid. It's just a new experience. For example, a ropes course, right? We have several of these sky things here in Miami, uh, at least on the south side where I live, right? And it's zip lines and uh, like high rope courses and stuff like that. A lot of times kids are afraid of that, right? Every once in a while you get somebody who's fearless like Rex who just wants to go, yeah, and gets up there and does it. But you have like my daughter, Isabel, who's like, I'm not doing that. So you coax them into it a little bit. You push them along, you help them along, you encourage them, right? That's what we're supposed to do. And you can do that by example, too. Get out there and do it yourself first and show them that it's not as dangerous as they think it is. Okay? This is, this is a part of it. It's a mentoring relationship with your child. But let's look at Paul's frame of reference for this. So, you know, Paul is a, or was prior to this, a Pharisee, right? He calls himself the Pharisee of Pharisees. So what does that mean? That means he's like the uber Pharisee, right? Okay, so he's looking back at the Old Testament and specifically Deuteronomy for this, right in the aftermath of the Ten Commandments. So Moses brings down the Ten Commandments. This is Moses speaking, and he says, these commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them in onto your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the, uh, the road and when you lie down and when you get up. Again, you've got to be present to do this, right? So Paul's thinking about it in this, in this frame. So when he talks about to bring up, to nourish, to drag along, whatever you want to call it, that's what he's talking about. Be there, be present, have these conversations as the day goes by, not just once every 10 years, right? Talk to them. Guide them through it. The importance of that in their life is it's not quite number one, but it's high up there, okay? If we're not, like I said before, if we don't do that, bad things happen. If we're not there and present, there's problems. If we don't take the time to spend that time with them and nourish them and move them along, it's detrimental to them. Are they going to live? Sure. They're probably going to live, right? 99% chance that they'll live into adulthood. But that doesn't mean that they're going to be a great adult. I know a lot of people who lived into adulthood that I would rather didn't. I'm sure you do too. You know, I've come across them a lot in my life. Again, this is honesty. So one of the things that you got to think about is what kind of kid or what kind of man or, or woman do you want this kid to be? Your guidance will help shape that. The Holy Spirit will do his work too. But you, as the physical father there, have an assignment to get that kid to God and then get that kid into adulthood in the best possible way that you can. We're all fallible. We all make mistakes. You know, that's fine. We all understand that. And you're going to make mistakes and you're probably going to screw your kid up in some way. That's just the way it is, right? But you can go back and you can help to change that. We're, we're damaged people trying to do the best we can.